Hi guys and welcome to Frazon.com. This is Mohit Soni. What is in front of you is the Citroen 3 3 Aircross that we have finally driven for a good 100 kilometers here in Chennai. And uh, as you can see, this is the first time you're looking at the car in uh, you know broad daylight and in real life conditions. When we showed you earlier, it was at the stage at the launch. So this is your very first look and how it looks in the real life. Let's quickly jump into uh, you know what the car is all about. It is going to be a mid-size SUV at a affordable price tag. Uh, you know, all of you have said uh, in the previous videos and commented and you know said uh, send us comments and all of that saying that you know it doesn't have features and you know all of that. But it is not meant to be an out and out rival. Uh, you can see what Honda has done. You can see now what Citroen has done. There has to be an affordable mid-size SUV because it is not. Uh, you know the features list that is making the mid-size SUV popular it is the space it is the practicality and it is the prestige that comes with owning a mid-size SUV uh, so that is what is going to be on offer with the C3 Aircross here it is based on the C3 and it is larger and much uh, you know better uh, in many ways and it's more practical so we'll be discussing on that aspect as well I'm clearing you know what uh, you know is the idea behind the C3 Aircross here and uh, let's begin with the design you can see it looks really nice in this white shade and uh, we've got this large uh, Citroen logo as always that is seen here a uh, very large bumper with a lot of uh, you know vents that can be seen from here the LED DRS look fantastic the lights are also quite good we've got fog lamps down there as well so illumination should be good of course we have not driven the car in the night uh, coming to the side profile is where it becomes very unique very French just look at that side profile it is boxy at the same time something refreshing comes something new something uh, you know in fact exciting because you've got these fantastic alloy wheels you've got this cladding here and here you've got typical Citroen design element seen on the doors as well and coming to the back what you can see here is a car uh, an SUV which also has a boxy design at the back but it doesn't look boring it doesn't look outdated uh, it looks something nice something fresh and uh, you can see that from these tail lamps very unique setup they've got this detailing here which makes it look really nice when you use the turn indicators so you don't need sequential turn indicators to make it look you know cool so you know that's the idea behind the car that you can have uh, you know good things at a lower price as well there is engineering there is thought and there is of course uh, you know the great Indian engineering also that has gone into this car which is always known to be very unique and has a different approach to everything and uh, yeah a look at the car very nice stance it looks like a mid-size SUV clearly uh, it is boxy it has elements it's got curves it's got lines it's got everything uh, going for it and uh, you know I see uh, half the battle is won there only when the car looks this good and imposing and has good road presence this definitely attracts customers uh, to the showroom and if you're watching this you should definitely go and check out this SUV uh, you know which is going to be around the 11 to 15 lakh rupee price tag let's find out what the interior is like and as you can see a very refreshing change on the inside as well yes there is white leather and uh, it is going to get dirty uh, but then again it also lifts the ambience really well you've got uh, part leather and part fabric you've got this sort of uh, premium uh, seat covers that are on offer and uh, which looks really nice uh, there is no contrast stitching here the seats are manual and the adjustment for the belt is not available you've got a start stop button here and a window lock button here ORVMs are automatic a steering wheel that you're already familiar with with the C3 and the C5 Aircross I've seen here what is the biggest change in the C3 Aircross over all its uh, you know uh, portfolio and stable mates is this new instrument cluster here which looks really nice uh, at the same time it's got a lot of features and uh, it's got uh, four modes so as you can see this is the most simplest mode uh, yeah this is the simplest mode then you go into the next mode where you can see uh, you can see uh, the speedometer and the uh, the outside temperature the car temperature the fuel gauges on this side in the next one you can see the tachometer is here along with the speedometer and you see that green leaf over there uh, right there so that turns green orange red uh, when, however you are driving and uh, that's basically an indicator of how you are driving and uh, that should help you maximize fuel economy as well going in the next one you can see normal uh, pressure uh, uh, you know for the tires and everything on offer 
and that's the fuel efficiency parameters uh, you know we are on the dual carriage way on the east coast road so there's been a lot of overtaking and despite that that number i think is really impressive and uh, if you drive even more sedately you can make that number reach even higher we'll discuss that while we are driving and uh, yeah this is the first uh, and the last in fact uh, screen that you can get with this car so citroen just went from you know zero to hero when it comes to the instrument cluster from bare basic to offering a almost a virtual cockpit experience here uh, which kind of looks cool in its own way and uh, what you also see here is uh, buttons on the steering wheel for the calls and for the volume and the code and uh, to handle everything here and uh, there's no knobs for you know the uh, infotainment system here which is downright brilliant you've got wireless apple carplay android auto uh, you know it works really well uh, last time in the c3 we road tested the c3 it works really well that screen here also works really fine uh, you know we got accustomed to it very quickly so that's really impressive it's very hot in chennai right now as you can see 41 degrees and the ac is keeping us quite cool and as you noticed there's a lot of noise uh, outside and the moment i close the door you know the noise is completely gone so there is a good amount of insulation as well you think oh, you know you're going to get a budget car is going to be noisy no it's not it's still a mid size suv so there are certain parameters that you know the brand needs to fix and uh, you know brand has to offer their offering is a very good and uh, you know good cabin in terms of nvh plastic quality is good uh, you know and uh, slightly lower than uh, the premium guys not by a long shot so again you are getting something uh you know with this car at this price point which is going to be significantly cheaper than its rivals a very large glove box is on offer here uh like i said the ac works really well you've got these tons of very smartly designed uh you know cup holder space to keep some stuff you can keep your mobile here and uh, this area to keep some stuff here as well armrest is on offer which is adjustable but it's only for the driver side the door pads are also quite big and uh, you've got this nice very nice finish here and here which looks good and uh, it's the white color and the golden here and the black which all comes together really well and it's again a very refreshing change in the segment of course uh, you know we don't uh, see cruise control or anything like that so getting inside the c3 across at the back this is the seven seater version the front might not have features but it's the rare where it impresses the most getting inside is easy the seats are a little lower under thigh support is good knee room is very good leg room is excellent head room is quite good despite you have vents here at the top to make sure that the third row is also very well chilled which i will show you in a bit and uh, yeah you've got charging points uh, this area is going to be prone to you know shoe marks there is some space to keep some stuff here surprising uh, omission of the uh, armrest which i think should have been here at this price point as well and uh, again a very nice uh, you know well uh, damped uh, interior when it comes to nvh and uh, you've got these nice elements here as well and here too uh overall uh, i like what i see in the front there is good visibility on offer despite uh, you know very tall or slightly short passengers will have a very good view outside as well so there is no uh, way that anybody can feel claustrophobic here look at the window size it is massive and it's lending a lot of light inside the cabin and uh, these seats of course are very comfortable they're extra padded very special so they should be fantastic on uh, you know long drives as well we've seen on the c5 and the c3 the c3 air cross also should do very well in that aspect for sure uh, now let's get into the third row so with one flip of the seat here uh, with this uh, lever here you can get inside a uh, the rear seats this is the only way you can get inside not the from the other side uh, let's go for it try and sit here and uh, see i have actually quite good uh, uh of course i'm completely knees up and uh, there is still a good amount of space because the backrest is quite well uh, done you've got seat belts here as well a nice small window on offer and overall i think this is quite nice and uh, for kids and shorter adults should be just fine in this for short trips of course not very long trips indeed and this is the boot space with all the seats uh, down this is the five seater of course this is a humongous 5 11 liters the honda elevate was at 489 which was the highest 
टू वीक्स लेटर इट इज़ द सी थ्री एक्रॉस विच बिकम्स द बिगेस्ट बूट कैपेसिटी होल्डर इन दिस सेगमेंट बाय ए लॉन्ग शॉट जस्ट लुक एट दैट स्पेस इट्स ऑल यूजबल रियली वेल लेड आउट एंड इट लुक्स रियली रियली इम्प्रेसिव टू स्टोर अ लॉट ऑफ लगेज एंड एज यू कैन सी यू गॉट अ नाइस मैट हियर एंड इफ आई कैन जस्ट सो द स्पेस सेवर टायर एक्चुअली इज डाउन देर What is the C3 Aircross like to drive? Well, it's a 1.2 liter turbo petrol motor only with a manual gearbox. The automatic will, of course, come later. It is at least now confirmed. And uh, the 1.2 motor makes 110 PS of power, 190 newton meters of torque. It's got good low end. It's got good mid range. Top end is good as well. And uh, we've driven it extensively, like I said in the video earlier, that we've driven almost 100 kilometers on this car. And uh, it's a very smooth engine. It's a refined engine. There's hardly any noise in the cabin from the engine at idle or at even at high speeds. So NVH is really well done. Like I told you, road noise, wind noise, and traffic noise is also well in check with the Citroen C3 Aircross. And it's a very comfortable car to drive in that aspect uh, because the gearbox is light, the clutch is also light, and uh, so the engine gearbox. uh you know do their job really well they are great on both aspects rideability and refinement and ease of use uh what makes it very easy to drive is of course the steering as well it's got good pre- uh, you know good precision it's got good feedback it gets heavy on the highway as well it is inspires confidence uh to ride hard and fast and uh, when you do that you'll realize that the car can reach 140 150 kilometers uh it can cruise at 110 120 in the sixth gear so it doesn't feel stress and uh, it's got you know pork and power to you know or do the five seater or you know five people or seven people in the car it can still pull relatively well and uh, we did that with at least four people and there was no sign of stress so i guess there should be very minimum stress with completely fully loaded people i'm sure the back seats are still going to be kids though or shorter adults uh, so in that aspect it should do quite well because there is a surge of torque and when that happens rideability is easy it can pull as much weight as possible uh should not be a problem um the other aspect of course is the ride and handling ride quality as always, as always down right brilliant uh it gobbles up all kinds of small irregularities and you don't even you know find it at any given speed low speed high speed not an issue whatsoever highway stability is fantastic um uh, like i said the steering is good in every way uh the brakes are good but i think brakes should be bit more powerful considering it's a seven seater it should have had more uh, power but the bite is not an issue the it is still adequate and in fact above adequate i think that's an enthusiastic demand because uh, you know better brakes are always welcome but i don't see any issue here so uh, you know the power train aspect is well taken care of the ride and handling is really good body roll is bare minimum and uh, overall a easy car to drive fun to drive as well uh, the engine and chassis come together really well and uh, yeah Uh, the fuel efficiency like i told you ranges between 11 to 13 kilometers in the city 16 to 17 on the highway so those are very good numbers as well in fact citrons uh, claim numbers are quite high in this segment and uh, you know uh, those numbers seem quite reachable in the real world conditions as well of course we'll have to put it through a road test because here we've been switching cars we've not have had an idea of exactly how much fuel efficiency the car can give uh, over the you know 100 kilometers that we've driven and uh, give us some time we'll get back to you on that after that uh, i think it's the verdict what is it what do i think after analyzing the interior exterior and driving part let's find out so my verdict on the c3 aircross i think the exterior is fantastic it's got a very good design a boxy design it looks like an suv good ground clearance good height good width and on the inside the interior is quite nice the quality is quite good uh, the fit and finish of course could have been better the features list is a little less but the infotainment system is good the sound system is good the ac works quite well you've got a lot of space inside the cabin to keep stuff it's a practical layout of 5 plus 2 so the interior also is really well done it's practical and it's uh, really good on quality and uh, you know it's uh, i think just a step lower than the premium suvs when it comes to quality but the fit finish on the uh, citroen c3 definitely is on the lower side can be fixed though and uh, Cit- uh, citroen should make uh, you know a note of that and fix that aspect uh the third thing the ride and handling the engine all of that comes together really well like i explained in the past so all of this coming together at a price which i am expecting to start under 10 lakh rupees and reach around 14 15 lakh rupees for top end variant 
दिस शुड मेक इट फैंटेस्टिक वैल्यू फॉर मनी अ कार दैट इज वेरी वेल अकॉम्पलिश्ड इन ऑल एरियाज इफ इट्स प्राइस रियली वेल इट कैन डू रियली वेल यू नो पीपल हु आर लुकिंग फॉर फीचर्स दे विल ऑब्वियसली गो फॉर द फीचर्स कार फॉर समबडी इज लुकिंग फॉर गुड राइड एंड हैंडलिंग अ सेवन सीटर ले आउट अ नो फ्रिल्स कार अ कार दैट पुल्स यू नो क्वाइट वेल इट्स गॉट अ एंटरटेनिंग इंजन इट्स गॉट गुड राइड क्वालिटी सेगमेंट बेस्ट राइड क्वालिटी वेरी गुड डायनेमिक्स एज वेल सो यू नो ऑल ऑफ दैट कम्स टूगेदर रियली वेल इन द सी थ्री एक्रॉस एंड इट बिकम्स इमीजिएटली बिकम्स a very highly uh, recommendable car in this segment uh, we would definitely want you to check this out you know everything is refreshingly new everything is you know very well benchmarked uh, you know the ride and handling and the features list and everything is put together quite well uh, for a price that is going to be very impressive we'll let you know about the price we'll do a uh, you know video when the price comes out we'll tell you exactly how everything fares so follow us on our social media and our website for everyday updates Thank you so much for watching this video until then goodbye